Welcome to the airport and to the TSA station. We were notified that you tried to bring a carry-on liquid that was more than three ounces and that caused some of our agents to uh, request that you have a pat-down to make sure that any other substances or devices that might not meet the TSA regulations uh, has been searched and that you are a safe passenger to continue travel. Okay. The TSA has a bad reputation, but they're not necessarily harmful. We're just looking out for people. At least that's my intention. So with a pat down, what we're going to be searching for is any other items that would ordinarily not be picked up by the scanners, any other liquids, and making sure that any other substances or residues on your being are legitimate and safe for travel. And this is not going to be a harmful or painful experience, unless of course you have items that are not meant to be carried on a flight. But how we're going to start is I'm going to check the linings of all of your clothing, and that will include around your collar, around your belt, around your socks, and the cuffs of your sleeves. And I'm going to make a request that you remove your belt or any other items that would be considered an accessory. Watch, necklaces, jewelry, alert me if you have any piercings. When I'm doing the pat down, what I'm going to do is squeeze areas of your arms, your chest, under your armpits, and in the sensitive areas, such as the groin and the buttocks, I'm going to be wiping sideways with the back side of my hands. I will be doing this slowly, so it should not cause any discomfort, but um, that will be one way that we can fully pat you down without causing any kind of discomfort. Okay. I'm going to start with your collar here. Are there any items that you would like me to be aware of before we start? Any knives, utensils, pocket pens, anything like that? Okay. All right, I'm going to reach around your neck here. Just going to feel your collar. Making sure that you don't have anything in the folds. I'm going to start with your left arm here. And I'm just going to pat down, not very firmly, but just enough so that I can feel entirely anything that might be under your shirt. Okay. Please lift your arms up for me. Thank you. side. Go ahead and lift up your arm for me. into your armpit here a little bit. I'm going to work my way down your torso in the front here, okay? And your 
chest. I'm going to reach around into the back and I'm going to do the same process. Just feeling my way down through your upper shoulders. Down to the small of your back. search one leg at a time. If you would please stand with your legs about a foot from each other. This will be very similar to the arms. So just going to pat down one at a time, okay? I'm going to take the back sides of my hands and I'm just going to go across the front of your groin. Okay? Not with too much pressure, no. This should not hurt. same process but from the other side here and I'm also going to be feeling the tops of your head going through your hair moving your ears a little bit is that okay okay Thank you. 
Slide the back of my hand across your buttocks. And now your left leg. This is just going to be a gentle squeezing motion. And that was all good. I'm going to take a quantum swab. And I'm going to swab various areas so that we can test for any kind of residue or drug paraphernalia. Okay? We're going to start here with your face. I'll try to be gentle. Seeing your hands. Thank you. Do you mind flipping them over? Thank you. And now I'm going to swab my gloves in case I picked up anything along the way. Just to make sure that everything is alright. I'm going to do one last 
very quick pat down, just in case there's anything that I overlooked, okay? Alright, I'm going to start with your front and your head here, and check behind your ears. side. Wonderful. It's on your chest, on your sides. Lift your arms up. Thank you. Standing with your legs further apart. Okay? One leg at a time. I'm going to start with your left. Just pat down the leg. Down to the knee. And the sock. the back of the buttocks. Okay. I use the back side of my hand here so that it's very gentle. It shouldn't disturb anything. safely. Take care.